Hello and welcome from Budapest. This is Hungary Reports from Public Media M1 with the latest news from Hungary and the Carpathian Basin in English. I'm Arpad Sertzi. Thanks for joining us. The number of illegal migrants and people smugglers at the Hungarian border has increased. That's what the country's chief of police announced. He said that in all of last year, Hungary conducted 89 proceedings against people smugglers, but already this year, that number has almost been matched with 84 cases being launched. Many of the people charged were caught inside Hungary, such as on highways and at border areas. It was almost midnight when authorities found 33 illegal immigrants, mostly Syrians, hiding among the cargo of a truck being investigated. Romanian authorities have launched proceedings against them for illegal border crossing and for people smuggling against the two Turkish drivers. According to data, proceedings were initiated against 133 people in all of 2019 on suspicion of human smuggling. However, just in the first two months of this year, this number has already gone above 80 people. Due to people smugglers, the presence of immigration exists not only at borders, but in the depth of the country as well. This is what the Deputy Operational Chief of Police spoke about at the Defense Committee meeting. Janusz Baluk said they hold police operations countrywide. Just in the past 24 hours, 142 immigrants tried to get into Hungary illegally. And since January 1st, proceedings have been launched against more than 8,000 people. This means that the fight against illegal migration isn't limited to the borders or their direct vicinity. Police action is necessary throughout the whole country, Janusz Baluk said. Migrational pressure has significantly increased at Hungary's southern border. The parliamentary state secretary at the Ministry of Interior continued the subject. Károly Kontrat said the government has taken the necessary measures and extended the national crisis caused by mass immigration by half a year until September 7th. This will not be any type of burden for the people of Hungary. However, for Hungarian authorities, it provides opportunities that ensure the successful protection of Hungary's borders, the state secretary explained. He went on to point out that many had criticized the government of Hungary before, because in 2015 it had built a border fence to stop illegal migration. However, by now, Hungary's standpoint on the importance of border protection has been generally accepted. Me, your Basically, we only received criticisms on a Brussels level. Naturally, our V4 partner supported us, but otherwise got a Brussels type of critique. Now this has changed. The Brussels committee has offered 700 million euros for Greece for border protection. The state secretary said. Tamás Menter also added, in itself it's not enough to protect the Greek border since nearly 130,000 illegal immigrants are already on the Balkan route keeping the neighboring countries under constant pressure. Common interests and common values are what represent the relationship of the alliance between Hungary and Estonia. That's what the Hungarian Foreign Affairs and Trade Minister said in the Estonian capital of Tallinn, where he was holding talks with his Estonian counterpart. Peter Siarto pointed out that both governments hold the same views regarding most of the important challenges facing the world, and especially Europe. For example, both countries reject illegal immigration. More than half a million signatures have been collected by the European Citizens Initiative for National Regions. Much of that has to do with asking the European Union to officially protect the linguistic and cultural rights of national minorities in specific regions of the continent. There are 50 million people in Europe belonging to national minorities, and that includes Hungarian minorities, such as in Romania. The head of the Secular National Council in Kolozsvá, Romania, said that the organization has set out several goals. Signatures are being collected in this clothing store in Nagyvárad, Romania, for the protection of national regions. In fact, across the country, volunteers from several political parties and NGOs are helping in collecting the signatures. We would like the European Union to support national regions, which are inhabited by ethnic minorities, and hereby help the preservation of these communities. They don't want anything else other than what they deserve, to be able to live in their motherland as a minority, under the same conditions as the majority, this volunteer said. Until now, more than 200,000 signatures have been collected electronically and nearly the same amount on paper. However, one million are needed in total. According to the initiator, the president of the Secular National Council, they have succeeded in establishing a European national regional movement which fights for a number of causes. 
First, we want to get the European Commission to create a regulation. Second, we wanted these European national regions to get closer to each other during this entire process of collecting signatures. So they all become part of a European regional movement, the President of the Council said. Meanwhile, the Basque National Party in Spain announced they would support the initiative as well. They believe those regions, which differ from their neighbours in their culture, language or religion, should still have access to the European Union's funds. The Hungarian government says that it's important for everyone to take part in protecting nature. And one way is by selectively separating garbage so that as little as possible ends up in dump sites. An eight-point climate protection action plan forbids unregulated landfills and, starting next year, non-recyclable plastics, glass and tin. Waste collecting machinery started to operate again at the end of February at Lake Tisza. A large amount of refuse had arrived again from Ukraine, so it had to be diverted to the shore near Vasharoshnamein with the help of barges and then removed from the water. There were also some people who started to collect the waste by themselves at the headwaters. Bela Franz, for example, was collecting the garbage with his old truck at the shores of the Black Tisa River in Transcarpathia, Ukraine. Organizers and volunteers of the Tisa Pet Cup would like to raise attention to their community donation program, which was launched by Transcarpathians. Until now, we've tried to take up the fight with the waste arriving from Ukraine, Transcarpathia and Romania. This time we can actually go to the headwaters to decrease the amount of rubbish locally, lowering the amount which would later enter the country, Joët Tomás explained. And this is the waste processor at Tatabanya, where the government spokesperson showed on Tuesday what happens with the mixed and sorted municipal waste at the facility. 60% of mixed municipal waste unfortunately ends up in a depot, where it is stored in a plastic container under the ground for an unidentified amount of time, the government spokesperson said. The state secretary of the Ministry of Innovation and Technology said that everyone is responsible for their environment, and the government is responsible as well. Therefore, the Hungarian government has adopted energy and climate policy strategies, documents outlining short- and long-term tasks, and has launched the Climate and Nature Protection Action Plan, Tomás Sanda explained. The government's Climate Protection Action Plan, consisting of eight points, will come into effect on July 1st, with the elimination of illegal landfills. Starting 2021, throwaway plastics will be banned and glass and tin cans will become returnable. The World Health Organization is now calling the coronavirus outbreak a pandemic. And Hungary has now called a state of emergency because of the disease. In fact, the government has ordered a ban on travelers from Italy, China, South Korea and Iran, except for Hungarian citizens. And in order to enforce those restrictions, border controls will be reintroduced on Hungary's Schengen borders with Austria and Slovenia. Furthermore, Hungary is banning indoor events with more than 100 people attending, as well as outdoor events with more than 500. Instruction at universities has also been banned. However, remote study is a possible option. And now some important information for foreigners living in Hungary in connection with the virus. Hungarian health authorities ask that people regularly wash their hands with soap or with an alcohol-based hand disinfectant and that they avoid being in contact with people who are running a fever. Furthermore, if you have symptoms or you've arrived in Hungary within the past few days from a region where measures have been taken to fight the epidemic, please don't go out in the community. Instead, phone and inform your family physician in Hungary or call one of the numbers on your screen and ask for an English-speaking staff member. Experts will take your call and can explain what possible steps you may have to take. The most important thing is not to panic, you will get expert assistance in Hungary. And that's all for now. But don't forget, you can catch Hungary Reports live every night around 11.20 p.m. Central European time and in repeats and online as well. Please stick around now, if you can, for our shows in German, Russian and Chinese. Thanks very much for watching and Minden Yogi.